Good morning, my darlings. Holy shish kabibbles. It's 30 degrees out this morning. It is Halloween at 9.20 a.m. I'm going to go pick up favorite niece, and we are going to go over to Wyanette. And I'm going to try not to cry, because as I told you in my last video, it's Becky's last day at her shop. So I want to go see her one more time. And then it's Halloween, and my favorite grandson is not going to dress this year, so I am just heartbroken over that. I get it, but he's only, and that's a text, <laughs> when he's, that's a text from his mom saying when they're going to come over. He is still going to come over to the family's houses and pick up some treats, because, yeah, but he's only 11. Come on. Oh, my gosh. Anyhow, it's hurt my feelings. That's the only grandson I got, and, you know, there's not too many young folks left in the family. They're all grown up. So, it's an end of a Halloween thing, so I'm feeling kind of funky about that. But I'm glad my niece is going to spend, favorite niece is going to spend time with me. We're going to go over and see Becky, and we are going to try to have a good Halloween. And I wish you all a very happy, happy Halloweeny. So, checking in with you, I'm over here. I got favorite niece, and uh, it's snowing now. It gained two degrees on the way over here and started snowing. Happy Halloween. <laughs> Our last roll at Becky's. She doesn't look like she's got much left. That's kind of neat, that blue uh, magic ball thingy that somebody painted gold. I'm a sucker for the grapes. These look so wonderful and yummy. This is pretty grand, and she's told me some things that I'm not liking about what's going on in regards to them getting her out of the building, and it is not the guy that owns the building. It's the other guy she's in business with, kind of a doink. I've got a bunch of that Libby there at home. Um, it sells really well. I like it. I think it's Libby. It might be Hazel Atlas. I can't remember. My mind's gone because of all the stuff that just not being nice, uh, that guy not being nice to Becky here. Not okay with that. Got a Hotman Brothers a Cardinal and Holly pitcher and candy dish. So cute. It's not coming up the color, but it's this beautiful turquoise Parkerware. It's grand. So I'm wondering about all of these alighted do always here. Hmm, I'm going to ask her about that. She certainly got a lot of Christmas for a fact. There is just a plethora of nativity scenes and crushes in here today. I think that's a fourth or the fifth one I've seen. Pretty neat. So I grabbed a bunch of vintage lighted uh, ceramic Christmas pieces. Um, I took them up front. There's a lot of people in here today, of course, and a lot of music going on. And she's having a little party. Oh, bless her heart. So uh, I'm just wondering. I a lot of folks, I'm glad she's so busy and she has sold a lot of stuff. So I probably should have come over last week. But uh, that's okay too. I'm glad for. I'm going to move on. I don't really know if I want to go next door, but we'll see what's going on. I've walked past it so many times I had to buy it. There is some lovely Black Forest art pottery. Those are grand. So I'm just swinging through for another second or third look. So I did find, did pick up those black forest plates. Those are really nice. So we'll keep looking. 
So we just found these, and they are the glass ones, not the plastic. But they're just going to require way more cleaning than I care to do. But I love that set. They sell well on eBay as well. So I found several more pieces of Christmas. Um, I think I'm about christmas out, pretty much. <laughs> I'm sorry the wind's blown out. My car is completely full, and we're just going to have to do a haul when we get home. And there's more coming out, so... Yeah, um, I'll show you everything we got when we get home. Pretty cold, and like I said, it's the end of an era. Becky's, it's her last day at her shop, and I've been doing business here since, since she was here. So I'll get one last shot at the front of the store. Um, and I'm feeling pretty sad about that. That's her heart. Y'all have a happy Halloween, because it is Halloween here, and woo, I don't know if you could tell, but it's snowing. Good morning, my darlings. It's the day after my uh, last shopping trip to my friend Becky's shop. She will be out of there November 3rd, so I'm, you know, I don't have good feelings about her leaving, but she wants to spend time with her family, and I understand that, so still hurt because it's, you know, I've been going there a long time, and she's been very kind to me, and I'm very fond of her. But this is what I picked up with favorite niece yesterday, which was Halloween. Today's November 1st. I got some uh, fall candle wreath pick type items, a couple of Christmas candle wreaths, um, this little crocheted piece. I'm going to keep that. I'm also going to keep this. This you can either hang or it will sit up. This ribbon's kind of manky, but I'm keeping that for myself. I found this gorgeous little geisha in this glass encased box black lacquer wood. It's so beautiful. Um, found a lot of lighted up stuff basically for Christmas. This little nativity scene. He does, Santa does not light up there. Uh, some St. Nicholas Square. I found several pieces of, as you know, I call it Area 51. It is actually Department 56. But I've <laughs> So I found some uh, Area 51, several pieces um, from different collections here. And that uh, one in the back and that one there too. Found some uh, Dickens heirloom pieces here and collectibles. And that's pretty much what I found. And of course... Melissa, um, her stuff's all in her house, and, you know, so if we videoed everything she bought, we'd be here for a while. <laughs> Bless her heart. I love shopping with her. We had a great day. Just a shout-out to Becky. Love you, girl. Gonna miss you. You all have a really good November.